Hey, it's Daniel, and I decided I was going to show you my Wookiee altar. This is where I do all my spells, magic work, opposed to my devotional shrine, which I showed yesterday. So I just kind of wanted to give you just kind of what is on here. Like I said, this is specifically for magical work, um, so it's a little bit, it's very eclectic because I'm very eclectic. Um, so I just have a lot of different stuff. I have this little angel. In this little bag right here, I keep witch grass, which is an herb that I use a lot. Um, this cold one just kind of has some random stuff in it. This skull I've had since I was like 12. I bought it. My mom bought it for me. Mortar and pesto. This is just like a little thing I keep for safe candles. Right through here, I have all the main powders and stuff. This is a spell that I have going. This is one that I'm getting ready to do. Like, um, this has dragon's blood powder in it. I'm just going to show you what else. These are just the ones I use regularly. That's got mugwort. Um, this has warlock powder, which I made in another video. Um, this has manifestation powder. This has an anointing potion I made in it. This, I don't have a label, but it actually has a protection potion. Um, in Lori Cabot's book, um, Power of the Witch, she gives a recipe for a protection potion, and this is one I made. So, there we go. Let's see, this is... Necromancy powder. Um, this is just rose petals. If I can get this one. This one has a mistletoe on it and it has a mistletoe in it. This has um, corn stalks in it, which I use a lot to connect to the area that I live in. Um, Reputation Horn God. This has like jewelry and stuff in it. Um, I always keep it on my working altar to kind of charge. This, of course, has Jesus. This little box, actually, it's a box. It, I put prayer requests in. If people are in urgent need of prayer, then I'll burn them. And then I have a little skull for ancestors, a Shiva statue. Um, I have, I think, money drawing oil, patchouli oil, and then St. John, Hi John the Conqueror root oil. Then these boxes have different oils and stuff in them. Um, this has a spell in it. Um, this little box, if I can open it up, has bones and stuff that I collect and clean after I that I find on different walks. When I take a walk, all of it is collected naturally. And I clean them with bleach and then I can use those in spell work. But I don't use them very often. But um, This little cauldron I use to kind of like... Uh, these little incense sticks right here, when they burn down, they have about this much left. And I keep these, I recycle them. And what I'll do is when I have these bigger candles like this and it's hard to light a candle in there, I'll, I'll light that tip on fire, then I'll use it to light it. So it's kind of like I recycle them. Um, I have my wand there. This is a cauldron I use for spell work, one of my mini. Um, this athme, which you've already seen, it kind of goes between different altars. Um, it's actually on top of a spirit board. Um, let me see if I can move this. That I bought, well, it was bought for me for years back. I don't really use it, but I use it kind of as a working surface. There's a little pinnacle. Like I said, not really a whole lot there. Um, there's a um, a Hail Mary candle, and that's just like a protection candle. Now, we're going to talk about these two books. These two books right here <laughs> may make some people uncomfortable. I was given, actually I was given multiple copies of these, some of them which I gave away. These are actually two books that I put different covers on them. That one has this. I had journals that I was using these for, and I decided... The inside of the journals, when I finished with them, because they were personal and I didn't want them anymore, I actually destroyed them, but I kept the cover. I took all the paper out, and then I glued these two onto different books that I had two copies of. This one is the Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells. And this is what people might find a little strange. Since I had two copies of this, I keep the one crisp, but on this one, I will actually glue over spells that I don't have use for, and I'll put my own on top of it. I'm not going to really show you because it's really personal. And so it has just tons of spells in it over the ones that I don't find use for. So I kind of keep the book, but I can make it personalized myself. So that's what this book is. Which I'm going to light to the side right over there. Now this one's again, this may make some people mad. I had multiple copies of this book, some of which I gave away. And this is Ramon Buckland's complete book of witchcraft. And what I did is, at the end of each thing there was a lesson. I didn't use lessons in this particular book so I took a piece of clear white paper and glued over it. So now I can take notes in here which I do have some notes I'll show you. I have the witch's ruin. And then there's also a few things which I can if I can find some notes. Um, 
in the text itself that I did not really need or work like um like this is kind of blank this is how to make your math make. well I have the book if I ever want to do that I don't think I ever do it so I've kind of covered those pages up so I can add my own notes to it so and like I said just kind of keeping what I want and adding little pictures and stuff kind of creating it into a little book that I like because like I said, I have another copy of this, so I didn't ruin this one. And I just took the cover off an old journal that I was going to throw away and simply glued it in. And then I have a little tape that could start to go it up. I mean, so I can kind of personalize those books that I had double copies of and keep what I want because I love this book, this book of, um, I think it's 5,000 spells. But like I said, a lot of the spells was something I would never work, never need to, so I just glue over them and put stuff in. Same thing with this one. Um, the Complete Book of Witchcraft by Alan Buckland, Big Blue as they used to call it, not blue now, but it means a lot to me. And so this is actually the first copy I had of that book. And then I have a new one that I was given to me that I keep just kind of crisp and clean on my bookshelf if I need it. And I can add in stuff that I like for my personal spell book. So I keep these on this altar because these are my spell working books. So there it is. That's my altar. Um, um, I have this little thing and then I can switch it over different seasons. Like, that's a little desk. This desk belonged to my great-grandmother. It's green. I didn't paint that color, but I keep it that way. So there's my magic altar. Many blessings.